Good evening, WWE Universe, and welcome to a brand new episode of WWE Slam. I'm your host, The Revolution, joined as ever by Corey Graves, Michael Cole, and the also oh cool Byron Saxon. Last weekend, saw the women of WWE Slam put their bodies on the line in the Money in the Bank ladder match where Bill and Kay became this year's Miss Money in the Bank. In a shocking turn of events, Team BAD became the brand new Slam Women's Tag Team Champions after defeating former champions Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair. With so many changes and the possibility of a cash-in from Bill and Kay on the horizon, what lies in store for the women of WWE Slam? It's time to find out.
We've barely started here this evening on Orlando, and yet there has been so many announcements as not one, but two matches were revealed for SummerSlam by CEO Stephanie McMahon. It was revealed that in the main event of SummerSlam, Raquel Diaz will put her Slam Women's Championship on the line against former friend Emma. However, Raquel will have one more obstacle before that match, as later this evening she goes one-on-one -on -one with fellow Los Guerrero Familia member Sonya Deville, as per Stephanie McMahon. It was also revealed that Nia Jax and Karma will go one-on-one -on -one final time at SummerSlam in a bid to find who really is the better woman. SummerSlam looks set to be heating up and we are still weeks away. Who else will join this year's card? Stay tuned to WWE Slam to find out. However, up next, Nikki Bella returns to action here in WWE Slam after viciously taking out Brie Bella at Money in the Bank. Making her way to the ring from Nashville, Tennessee, B. Land. Two of WWE's top stars ready to go here in one on one action. This is the match I've been waiting for, guys, ever since it was announced. I've been looking forward to seeing these two clash. Now, what about you, Corey? Do you like her chances here tonight? I like her chances every night, Cole. In fact, I'd say she's without a doubt one of the most talented women we've ever seen in WWE. tell you that Nikki Bella has been looking forward to this one guys so is the WWE Universe just listen to this reaction guys a win here would go a long way in proving that she is as good as she claims to be and on the flip side Cole a loss could be very damaging to her long-term goals Based on the electricity that traveling through this arena and decibel level of the crowd, I think it's safe to say the roof of this building just might blow off. Oh man, this is going to be great. Judging from this crowd response, guys, there's no more magical place to be if she drops her hard. This one's over, guys. Hey, what go? Looking at it here. Two, three. The cover, and this one's history. What a win.
Following those scenes just moments ago, it was revealed that Nikki Bella has requested a match with Alicia as part of next week's broadcast after Alicia attempted to build bridges between the Bella sisters. Nikki Bella undoubtedly still has some unresolved issues with Sister Brie after taking Brie out last weekend at Money in the Bank and costing her her spot in that Money in the Bank ladder match. Hopefully, Alicia can somehow get through to Nikki before it's too late. However, the show must go on, and up next, Raquel Diaz goes one on one with fellow Los Guerrero familiar member Sonia Deville after CEO Stephanie made the announcement earlier this evening. Will Los Guerrero familiar somehow endure this blow to the faction? That match, people, is up next. Making her way to the ring from El Paso, Texas, the WWE Women's Champion, Rachel Diaz. There is an absolutely big fight feel in the arena tonight for this one. Yeah, and judging from the vibe here currently, it seems to me like this is the one this sold out crowd came to see. And Byron, this match will undoubtedly go a long way in proving which competitor is the premier force in the women's locker room. And because of that, Michael, I'm willing to bet all the other women are surrounding the monitors in the back right now, getting ready for this one. New Jersey, Sonia Devin. Big time singles matches on deck here. And Byron, what should we expect to see here tonight? Well, given the shape these superstars appear to be in here tonight, I fully expect to see one of the most competitive matches we've seen in a very long time. And what about this crowd reaction, guys? Yeah, the WWE Universe is definitely ready to see these women square off. And I can't say that I blame them. And there's the bell. And quick pin attempt here. One, two, three. The pinfall and the victory.
Introducing the challenger from Hackensack, New Jersey, Sonia Devin. Introducing the champion from El Paso, Texas. She is the WWE Women's Champion, Rachel Diaz. So don't move a muscle. This is it, fellas. We're ready to get this thing started. I've had my eye on this championship match for a while, guys. Well, if history is any indication of what we'll see from her tonight, I expect her to walk away with her championship in tow. We're underway here, and as a reminder, this match is for all the marbles as the championship is on the line. Let's touch on Diaz a bit. What's your take on the champ? That's a proud champion, Michael, for sure. But there's also a hungry challenger in that ring. And I have no idea which way this one's going to go. A frightening attack on the jaw. Quick pin attempt here. She kicks out. She is ready for a fight tonight. Taken down with great force. With a move like that, she's just trying to insult her opponent. Takes her out with a German suplex. Three. Four. Five. Six. Back now inside the ring. And she makes it look easy with a cross body. A quick finish. Can she do it? Caught her off guard with the head scissors. The inverted DDT connects. I see where she's going with this. She should stay where she is. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Not today. Challengers, he's going for the cover. Oh my, right to the back of the head. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now, and she's trying to flip the script here. Easier said than done, Michael. A quick finish. Can she do it? Quick pen attempt here. She's got the shoulders down. She's looking at it early. One, two. 
No, she's too quick for her. She's starting to get on a roll. Slam down with authority. Oh, and she has an answer for that one. Not so fast. She's on a roll now. Looks like the champ is starting to crack. This is where we find out what the champ is made of. She's not looking so good here, guys. She's going to need to find a way to fend off some of this offense and quickly. Oh, man, this match is... She can end it here. Just a clubbing axe handle. Boy, that hit the mark. That's how you put an exclamation quickly into the cover with the title on the line. If the champ loses the title here tonight, it won't be from lack of conditioning. Talk about being in phenomenal shape. She's got her where she wants her. Look out, she could be done. She a quick finish. Can she do it? And this has got to be it. And she turns it around on her. She's looking at it. She comes up with a slam. The champ's in a good spot here. Look at this. to think that's it. We may be looking at our winner here, guys. Can she do it here? One, two. You'd have to think hitting the finisher here could end this thing. Hold on, guys. This isn't good. No question about it, Cole. Nicely done. She's going for the cover. Look at it a second time. Glory bomb. Glory bomb. That might just be. This should do it right there. The champion is victorious. Here is your winner, and still the WWE Women's Champion, Rachel Diaz. Going to feel the effects of this win for a while. That's a big win right there. Anytime you can pin another WWE competitor's shoulders to the mat for the three count, you should be proud. Social media has been buzzing over this Raw match ever since it began, and now that it's over, I actually anticipated intensifying. Over the last few months, Los Guerrero Familia have dominated the entire slam landscape.
However, it looks as though they may have met their match in the shape of Stephanie McMahon. Will the dominant faction somehow bounce back after the scenes of doubt placed by Stephanie? Speaking of pitting friends against each other, earlier this evening, Stephanie revealed that on next week's episode of WWE Slam, the blonde bombshells will compete in a triple threat match in a bid to send a message to Lana, Liv Morgan and Carmella. Will the blonde bombshell induce Stephanie's ruling, or will I crumble to a new authority here in WWE Slam? That match takes place next week. However, up next, Billy Kay looks to celebrate her Money in the Bank briefcase victory as she takes on a star from the past. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Peyton Royce, representing the iconic duo from Sydney, Australia, Billy Kay. We have one-on-one -on -one action on the way, and this one should be nothing short of amazing. I don't doubt that for a moment, Michael. In fact, I would go so far as to say this match might just steal the show. And Byron, this match will undoubtedly go a long way in proving which competitor is the premier force in the women's locker room. And because of that, Michael, I'm willing to bet all the other women are surrounding the monitors in the back right now, getting... Now look at this. Uh-oh, here we go. Come on, negotiations have broken down and we now have to, a war on our hands. She clearly doesn't care about the rules. starting to take a beating, though we've seen her come back from worse in the past. Pump the brakes a bit, Cole. I know exactly what you're thinking, and I can tell you with all certainty, she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. It's been quite the back and forth battle for these women, guys, and I'm willing to bet that's the way it's gonna be the rest of the way. reversed what she just slapped the taste out of her mouth and she goes down hard I don't leave a mark whack Michael that gives new meaning to have a seat is the sleeper trying to put this match to bed. When she gets in attack mode, look out. Chopping down trees right and left. What a blow. And a savage clothesline. 
Look at this. This could be big. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. Struggling to get up right here. Tough spot to be in at this point, Michael. Not today. Looks like she's starting to stumble a bit. Looks like her chances of winning this match are starting to dwindle. I really expected much more from her here tonight. I'm pretty shocked to see her absorb so much punishment. Oh, man. This Can she do it here? She's got the ropes, and the pin is broken. And she got her with a clothesline. She comes up big with a reversal and a punishing shoulder tackle. Okay, now she's just showing off. Big reversal for her there. Lands hard with a face buster. She's got the shoulders down. Two, three. Unbelievable. This singles match is over. Here is your winner, Billy Kay. A big singles victory here tonight. Wow, I can't believe the amount of punishment that had to be inflicted in order for those shoulders to stay down for the three count. Well, I for one thought I would never see Joy Giovanni make her return to WWE, and I have to say she looks better than ever. Unfortunately, Joy had no chance against Miss Money in the Bank, Billy Kay, and we can only gather that this will only add to Billy's ever-growing ego here in WWE Slam. However, the show must go on, and we switch our focus to the main event of the evening as the newly crowned tag team champions Sasha Banks and Naomi team up with Karma to take on Nia Jax, Charlotte Flair, and Becky Lynch. Our main event of the evening starts now. is a tag team match set for one fall introducing first from california awesome call if you like action this six-man tag team match is for you you can say that again we're looking at six of wwe's most exciting superstars all in one match it doesn't get much more exciting than that Sasha looks like she's ready to make a statement tonight. Yeah, she absolutely looks ready to go.
first, from San Diego, California, Nia Jax. It's now time for the six-man tag team match that I think we've all been waiting for. Well, I can't speak for everybody, Michael, but I can tell you that I've looked forward to this one ever since it was announced. Guys, we have a huge six-man tag team match coming up here. For me, Michael, the biggest storyline heading into this match will be whether or not these teams can truly coexist. on the line here in this huge three-on-three -three matchup. Guys, I have a feeling this is the type of match we'll go back and look at three or four times over the course of next week. And she strikes with great precision. Guys, let's quickly discuss Nia Jax. It's not every night that she's looking at this kind of competition in there. What would your strategy be in a match like this? We have inside that ring six of who many would consider to be the greatest figures in WWE. No one doubts that she can be the one who gets the job done in there, but she and everyone else must keep in mind it takes more than that to get a victory in WWE. How the heck does that not leave a competitor paralyzed? Brutal. She drops her with a clothesline. Sasha Banks is making her presence known. Executed double team. Sasha Banks is making her presence known. Now that 
That's having no regard for your body. She might have it. Now we have Becky Lynch on the attack. That's a great example of teamwork right there. Naomi's athleticism brings the WWE Universe shooting to their feet in excitement as this superstar turns the ring into her own dance party, though Naomi's opponent is not happy that they were invited. Bright lights, high energy, and amazing moves sum up Naomi before she enters the ring. And when the matchup begins, no matter who the competition is, Naomi's gonna shine. There's the switch, Charlotte is in. She's licking her chops. Sasha Banks got her there. She's taking a while to get up here. I was just thinking the same thing, Michael. Charlotte with a nice reversal. Look at her partner. She's calling for the tag. She might want to think twice about that. What's the queen got in mind now, Byron? How about natural selection? This could be the turning point, Cole. An early pin attempt. And there's the tag, Becky Lynch into the ring. Teamwork at its best. He's got a cinched in, the disarmer. This might be it, guys. All that's left now is for Becky Lynch to finish. She breaks it. Wow, she's quite the escape artist, Michael. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Taken out with a Russian leg sweep. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. right there. She wasn't even close, Michael. Oh, can you believe that? And Naomi manages to reverse out of that one. She counters with a move of her own. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Nia Jackson off the tag. And a powerful foot, and she's trying to flip the script here. Easier said than done, Michael. She's got her in her sights. She's a lady that can turn it on quickly, no doubt about it. Here she comes on the counter. We'll see if she can turn things around.
And the ropes break this one up. Great ring awareness there, Michael. Naomi has her right where she wants her. She's turning the tables. They ain't turned yet. Still got some work to do. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. She reverses out of it. And not a second too soon. Close call there. Look at her go. Sasha Banks is tagged in. That's a great example of teamwork right there. Nia Jax is really starting to fade now. She really needs to think about making a tag, guys. At this point, you have to wonder if her partners are starting to regret teaming up with her. I'm just saying. These women are so evenly matched right now, guys. I can very easily see this match going either way. She's off on that one, Corey. You can say that again. And that's the tag to Naomi. Quick thinking by Nia Jax. Oh man, she's rolling now. And this has got to be it. This could be it. Both teams working well here together. That's not always the case in a six-man tag team match. Oftentimes, you'll see personal agendas eat their way into the action. Attack. Naomi has her right where she wants her. Uh oh. Calls out the rear view. This one's over, guys. It could be over here. She's in a bad way here. Bottom line, she's got to get up. She can't win this match on her back. Guys, I really thought we would have seen the finisher already. No way she can survive this, can she? Talk about breathtaking. Wow! Naomi feels awfully good about herself, and the crowd does too. Been a rough night for her so far, Corey. It's going to get a lot rougher if she doesn't get up. That's not what she had planned. Well, if it was, she better rethink her plans. The partner's itching to get back in there, Byron. No surprise, she's a gamer. Man, look at this. That's right, just keep going. Here we go with Nia Jax. Oh, my Lord. That's how you put an exclamation point on a match. Nia Jax might have it right here. Uh oh, she's not getting up. Just pin her. This match is over. Naomi being overwhelmed here. In comes Becky Lynch. She's struggling big time here, guys. Of course she is, Cole. She's getting destroyed. We're looking at complete domination here. Struggling to get up right here. Tough spot to be in at this point, Michael. Beck 
Nikki limps shoulders down. This could be it. Becky Lynch, nice explorer suplex. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. The Irish last kicker telling her opponents how she really feels. Who's got it cinched in the disarmer? This match is slipping away from Naomi here. What a six-man tag match. helps lead the team to victory. This was all about one competitor's refusal to lose. When you see that, you have no choice but to respect it. I think I can safely speak for all of us when I say that was an amazing contest. Thanks for tuning in to WWE Slam. As always, I've been your host of Revolution and we hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode of WWE Slam. Be sure to leave a comment below, tweet us at Revolution or head on over to www.therevolution.co.uk to keep up with all things WWE Slam. Tune in next week to see what's in store for the Women of Slam because you never know who might turn up. Until next time, 